morning everybody we're here at work in the truck already we're going to hook up to our wide load i think we're nine and a half feet wide so it's not that wide so here's our load for today we're about nine and a half feet wide not too wide we'll be able to stay within our lane but it'll be close especially with this piece back here time is about 9 a.m so according to my permits i'm now allowed to enter city limits don't got to worry about rush hour i'm not allowed to drive this thing through rush hour anyway I'm gonna be honest with you guys that I'm not perfect and I'm always learning stuff and relearning stuff and refreshing my memory on stuff and uh, one of my co-workers here uh, he uh, refreshed my memory on our permits before you pull a wide load anywhere you should be reading through all of your permits to make sure you know where you can and can't go and when so we're, uh, he came up this morning and reminded me that between 7 and 9 a.m., you can't pull a wide load into city limits. Outside of city, city limits is a different story. But inside city limits, between those hours, you can't pull that in there. So, wait until 9 o'clock. Now we're going to head on into the city. I'm okay with that because I didn't really, uh, I wasn't really excited about pulling a wide load through rush hour anyway. But uh, before you leave with a wide load, always, uh, check your permits so if you are to disregard the permit and go into the city during that rush hour period uh, it would go on your license so it would have gone on my license if you get caught or say if the roads could be slippery icy conditions someone loses control and hits me well, what the law is going to say, and what all the lawyers are going to say, is that truck should not have been there. Therefore, it's 100% my fault. And you'll have uh, lawyers eating you for breakfast. And you won't have any argument. I mean, what are you going to say? Yep. Yeah. I wasn't supposed to be there, and I was there. into my lane but just barely as long as everyone around me is paying attention I only gotta go right around the corner here so I gotta go make a left and then a right and then we're there after this I gotta go move into a sleeper truck after this because we're going on an overnight to Saskatchewan Take his corner wide enough. <laughs> Z 
see that? Good thing there was no cars beside him. <laughs> hey, that's scary. All right, we're done with this trailer for today. And we're also done with that truck. I've got to go find a uh, dark hole unit 42. I'm going to be taking that truck up to Saskatchewan. I think it's a Kenworth T680, I think. Got to go find it. Apparently it hasn't been started for about a month. So I'm hoping that I won't have any issues getting it going. But we'll see. there that looks like 42 on the back to me oh please be plugged in please be plugged in please be plugged in yes it's plugged in good it's up 42 me and you've got a date overnight we're gonna spend the night together Good thing my wife is an understanding woman. Kenworth T680. That's a, I'm actually kind of excited. If I wanted a big condo unit, like one of those big luxury trucks for the highway use, like if I was over the road still, my first choice would be a Kenworth T680, just like that. But if I had to buy my own truck, I would get a Kenworth W9, obviously, because you, know, you also want to look good. But if I was going for pure comfort, that's the truck. Let's go say hello, shall we? Place your bets now. Is she going to start up for me, or is she going to be stubborn? She's going on a, on a date with me, whether she likes it or not. Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, girl. Caught me. Would have fell over. Fell into the fender instead. Huh. Oh, look at this fancy herd bumper on the front. Okay, let's see if we can get her going. It says 42, yeah, 42. Going on a date. Before we start her up, we better check her oil. Among other things. at pack car power plant in here nicely tucked inside the frame just like always on these engines check the oil here and then we'll give her a start it also it already says low voltage <laughs> it's been parked here for about a month so let's see if she'll turn over let her cycle through Held her air pretty good still. Wow. Here we go. Oh, no problem. No problem. That's a Kenworth for you. Oh, yes. We're going to have fun. All creepiness aside, though, I mean, this is a beautiful truck. Look at this. Look how much, look how much space is in here. Nice! Huge! That is awesome. So if you were to come work for us on the dark hole side, this is probably one of the units that you might be put in on the highway. Looks pretty comfortable, eh? And whoever had it last left it full of fuel. Thank you very much. DEF is reasonably full. Well, a little over three quarter. Nice. What's up with this? All kinds of like sticky goo on here. Ha! Huh. Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna uh, move my stuff over into here. I'm gonna do the pre-trip on this. Uh, yeah. 
little change of plans, everyone. I got myself all uh, set up in here. This place is amazing. I'm going to give you more of a tour of it uh, tomorrow, I guess. My bed all set up here. This thing's amazing. It's like a condo on wheels. But, however, uh, our receiver was supposed to receive us Saturday. That's why I was leaving today on Friday, and they're going to receive me tomorrow. They don't want to receive us on Saturday now. They want to receive us on Sunday, which is odd. But that's what they want. That's what they'll get. Good thing they caught me before I left Winnipeg. I was just probably about 45 minutes down the road. I had to turn around and come back. I'm going to go home for the night. Probably leave around like noon or something tomorrow here. It's only an eight-hour drive. And then we'll drive out Saturday. We'll drive back Sunday. And that'll be my weekend. <clears throat> that'll be my weekend. Back to work here on Monday. Probably recapping hours all next week because I'm not going to get a reset in now. But good thing that uh, I don't use a lot of hours while I'm doing my city work. So I still have, like, let's see here. Because I use e-logs, right? I still have 48 hours, almost 49 hours left on my 70. I'm going to use about 16 to 20 of it this weekend. And then we can just recap hours throughout the week and get my reset the next weekend. Uh, can't go more than 14 days like that in Canada, recapping hours, but... Oh, well. I wasn't going to take diesel with me. I really, I really wanted to, but this truck, again, was just detailed, and it's not my regular truck. So, uh, if I were to do that, I want to make sure I have permission to do that. And, of course, I'd have to detail it myself again after. Not like Diesel's a big mess maker. He doesn't make a big mess. But, you know, he does shed some hair, so I'd have to vacuum everything up and uh, make sure it looks better than it was when I got in here. And this thing looks pretty good already. So, we'll see. I'll think about it tomorrow. Maybe I'll text them, see if they mind. But it's the weekend. I'll probably end up just going by myself, quickly running it out there and uh, running back. That's a conversation for tomorrow, though. So we have two more days of trucking coming, Saturday and Sunday. Not going to miss a beat. Good thing I love trucking so much. <laughs> Let's go home and see the dogs. Let's surprise them. They thought I wasn't going to come home until tomorrow night. 